Hi, my name is Oktay. Welcome to today's astronomy video. There is a new uh, discovery from the James Webb Space Telescope. That's the question mark structure in space. This is a picture of a Herbie Caro HH object. These are bright patches of at um, near newborn stars. They are caused by ejection of accreted material by a protostar and the collision of ionized uh, gas with gas and dust clouds at several hundreds of kilometers per second produces this uh, Herbie Caro objects. Uh, typically these objects uh, lie within um, three light years of the star or a bit more. This is one such object, that's Herbie Caro object 34, HH uh, 34, in the Orion molecular cloud at a distance of 1500 light years. This, um, uh, Protostar H, and the size of this structure is 10 light years. There are episodic outbursts of the central star. And you can see at the left um, there is a waterfall structure, and its origin is unknown. This is a beautiful James Webb Space Telescope image of the Herbie Caro object 4647. This is a protostar binary at 1470 light years, its size is 2 light years. Uh, the stars are here, this bright structure, and at the bottom of this uh, structure, uh, James Webb Space Telescope has found a question mark structure. This is a magnification, um, the direction of this uh, Abbey Haro object. Here you can see the question mark. This is a bigger image. Um, and according to the scientists, uh, this is, uh, these are several merging galaxies that are bent uh, by gravitation. Upper galaxy is tidally disrupted. That's how you get this uh, question mark structure. This is a similar galaxy, um, NGC 3187, or Hixon Compact Group 44. It's a barred spiral galaxy at 87 million light years distance. It experiences the gravity from its neighbor galaxies. That's why it has this uh, distorted structure. And imagine if you were, if a being were uh, living in this section of this galaxy, how would the uh, night sky look like? It would uh, look uh, very spectacular because uh, this person would have a face on view of the galaxy. This is a similar illustration of um, how the Earth's sky will look like in 4 billion years when the Andromeda and the Milky Way galaxy will start to merge. It could be that we will have then have a based on view of the Andromeda galaxy. Uh, this is a infrared spectrum from the Spitzer telescope of the Herbie Caro object 4647. And you can see carbon dioxide, water, Silicates, methane, methanol, and uh, water ice. This animation from Hubble photos of the Herbig Haro object for 47, and you will see supersonic uh, jets from the baby star. This is another Herbig Haro object 32. This is an image from Hubble. This object is at a distance of 1000 light years. Uh, the green glow comes from the hydrogen atoms, and the blue color comes from the sulfur ions. Uh, jets have a length of uh, 0 0.2 light years. This is another Herbie Caro object, 4950. This image is from the Spitzer telescope. Uh, this object is located at a distance of 480 light years. It has tornado like features. This jets at um, about 100 miles per second, which is 161 kilometers per second. And there's a glow of heated dust, and the star is in a, in a faint uh, blue halo. This artist concept of the object L1014 would be a starburst in the making. It is located at a distance of 652 light years. Uh, these are dust spirals to. Um, that spirals toward a disk around the star. 
But it is not clear if this is really a star. It could be a low mass star or a brown dwarf or even a rogue planet. This is the Habicado Object uh, 24. It's a Hubble image of a newborn star in the Orion B molecular cloud complex, a distance of 1350 light years. It's a protostar or proto-binary proto system. There's a JD-like uh, cloak of dust and twin jets. This is the object HBC1. Um, this at a distance of 2,700 light years. It is a this is a Hubble image, and NASA made an interesting comment. Um, it co called it a diamond in the dust. Really looks a bit like a diamond. This is a star in a an adolescent phase. It is in a pre-main sequence phase. And there's a um, nearby reflection nebula that is illuminated by HBC1. And that was today's astronomy video about the question marks in space. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.